Hey everyone, welcome back to Nintendo Prime and oh boy do we have a juicy Nintendo Direct rumor for you today. Now, you can jump right to the timestamp down below to get directly to that rumor because before we get into it, I want to tell a story. A story of a leaker uh, that I swore we would stop talking about. And this story is a very interesting journey and this is, let's just call this the nail in the coffin of leaks from this leaker. If this isn't true, this truly is the end in my opinion. But we'll get to that in a moment uh, and we'll get to exactly what this Nintendo Direct leak is. That being said, I am Nathaniel Ruffle Jantz and we are giving away a Switch OLED, a PlayStation 5, and an Xbox Series X this month. Head down to the pinned comment or to the description, click on that gleam.io link and I wish everyone luck. Now, looking at this person, it almost pains me. We're talking about Samus Hunter, someone who I've said I wouldn't cover at this channel anymore. However, Samus Hunter put up a uh, interesting tweet this morning, an interesting bunch of tweets this morning that make me, they, 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 they're such a big swing that this is it to me for Samus Hunter. If this doesn't happen, that's it. I don't think there's any reason to listen to her. Now, who is Samus Hunter? This is obviously an anonymous person on the internet identifies this female uh, we don't know anything about her personally i've had a lot of private conversations with her but around uh i would say may of last year is when i took notice of samus hunter there was a fan who dm me some stuff that samus hunter was saying about the uh potential e3 coming up last year and i went down the rabbit hole of digging through her twitter account which had existed for a little over a year and everything she had said up to a certain point besides one thing that uh in like october or november of 2020 had come true and the thing she mentioned in october of uh, or november of 2020 had to deal with the future of nintendo switch online and virtual console and and all that stuff which by the way that entire video which i did do eventually that blew up on my channel was wrong she was wrong about that but I had gone back in her Twitter account, not knowing if she deleted tweets or not, and noticed that everything she had said had happened, whether it was about, you know, tweets that were coming out, or announcements, or games, etc. And it made me realize, hey, maybe this person really does have legit information, so maybe they're worth talking about. So I decided to cover them in a couple of videos, or cover Samus Hunter in a couple of videos, some stuff they were saying about E3. And, uh... After doing that for a little bit and Samus Hunter starting to get more followers at the time, she had less than 100 followers on Twitter, so barely anybody knew who she was, she started gaining you know, more and more followers. She got to 500, she got to 1,000, and then she realized where all these new followers were coming from. They were coming from you guys, you know, on my channel and on my Twitter account, um, deciding to follow her after I reported on stuff she had said and noted that she actually had a really, really good track record. So she DM'd me on Twitter. And from there, things sort of evolved. She DM'd me and uh, we would, she would tell me things before she was gonna tweet them. I'd make videos on it. It was kind of a, let's help each other out. I'll give you information that you can make videos on. You'll increase my following before I drop the tweets on it. And it's kind of a hunky-dory situation. And then this obviously expanded into her talking to people like Andres Restart and other content creators. And obviously from there, other people started covering her. Comicbook.com started giving her attention. Um, several other YouTubers started giving her attention as well. And her following has grown from there. Right now, her Twitter following is over 20,000, which is bigger than mine. I'm just over 16,000. So she has a bigger following, at least on Twitter. And maybe she'll eventually have a bigger following than even this YouTube channel. Uh, but honestly... I was the reason she got discovered. So I feel a lot of personal responsibility for the attention that she does get because I honestly think without me, nobody would know who she is. Um, that's neither here nor there. Now, again, she's talked to me privately in DMs uh, about many things, including who her sources are. And I'm not gonna dive into that because if her sources are real, well, I really don't want them to get in trouble. The interesting part in all of this was obviously the more we covered of her, and obviously, because she's posting things all the time, the more it became, okay, she, how can one person know all this? And, she made some statements uh, that ended up not coming true. Obviously, the entire revamp to Nintendo Switch Online and the way Virtual Console was gonna work, yeah, never happened. 
obviously that's a that, that that's a big swing and miss by her she mentioned that nintendo was planning a splatoon 3 tournament an online tournament for e3 of last year yeah that never happened now she was correct about a few other things at e3 uh like breath of the wild 2 being there but yeah she never and the, like the big thing that she was the source on splatoon 3 tournament never happened she said we were going to get zelda anniversary stuff at the game awards swung and miss didn't happen and now she's saying these next batch of rumors that we're about to get to but you might go but with those big swings and misses why did she continue to get coverage because she kept getting other things right she got advanced wars one plus two reboot camp right she got other small things that were going to pop up on social media and get announced there through twitter right but Sam and Sutter is a very interesting story because unlike other leakers where you have your swings and misses and you have your correct information and if that's all this was if she just sometimes she's right sometimes she's wrong that would make her like any other leaker whether it be Emily Rogers or Jeff Grubb or whatever people who put their actual names behind it Nate the hate you know yes these people are wrong and right all the time and it would just be treated as such but Sam and Sutter is a different story her leaks come with the caveat that her opinions really matter. <laughs> she takes a lot of information that she supposedly gets and wraps it in an amalgamation of her opinions and you have to dig through her opinions to get the real facts and because of that it makes it sound like she knows more than she really does. She also has quite boldly taken leaks from other leakers and stated them in ways where she notes they come from somebody else but they ne she never tells anyone where they come from. She actually got busted for this uh, by uh, someone named John. You guys might know him from Nintendo Life. Uh, yeah, he busted her entirely for saying some stuff that's untrue. And then she said, well, John, you wouldn't even be able to talk about this because of embargoes and blah, blah, blah. And John's like, you're just full of shit because the embargo doesn't exist because nobody had the game yet. So it was a very interesting um, amalgamation of she's getting mad at media people who are calling her out. She's getting mad at the leak community who's like, hey, you keep stealing our leaks and you're not crediting us, you're, which makes it feel like the leak comes from you. And then you're taking credit. She has an entire... Um, you know, post pinned on her uh, account showing all the times that Samus Hunter was right. And half of those times that she was right were leaks that she stole from other people. So she's more than willing to take credit for leaks from others when they're right, but when they're wrong and she posted about it, she'll quickly pass off blame. Uh, and it, it's just not a good look, right? It, it's just not a good look. It looks like somebody who is just posting other stuff. And my justification for when she's been caught for this in the past was, hey, look, I don't really care who leaks the information. If Samus Hunter isn't the originating source, if what she's giving us is mostly true because then she could just be the filter on all of the leak content that exists. And I'm okay with someone being that filter for me so I don't have to dig as deep. Uh, but it's a little bit of a different story today because while I have sworn her off and I've called her out, we need to talk about this because what she's saying now to me is the nail in the coffin in a couple of ways. One of the things she said isn't that big of a deal. It's sort of a, hey, this is expected this is what we've all been talking about we just talked about it on the podcast on andre's channel andre's restart channel and obviously on uh, my podcast last week about an upcoming nintendo direct but let's just get right into what she said here and i'll talk afterwards why i feel like this is her last her last hurrah if she's wrong so she tweeted out this morning good morning I heard that Nintendo has finalized the Nintendo Direct video production and will soon send the script to be localized in all the languages. So there's a high chance for an announcement tomorrow. I will make a list of possible announcements in these days, which is weird because if the announcement's tomorrow, whatever. <laughs> Anyways, uh, right now, the video seems to be 35 minutes long, but it doesn't have the big reveal placed at the start, center, and end. So apparently there's three big reveals because they always add those during the last minute. It's probably to prevent leaks, I suppose. That's the logic there. So it's likely going to be around 45 minutes long. What I'm pretty sure is that the Direct will meet the target launch period I mentioned last month. So even though the Direct production finished this week, but they didn't announce the presentation tomorrow for this week. The video will be ready for next week. Um, and there's a few other things that someone says Hollow Knight Silk Song. She says it's the first time I think the game will have a chance to show up, although that's an opinion. Um, there's a few other things she replies to as well, uh, noting that she would feel like there's a 70% chance of the Direct is this week, 30% chance of next week. 
etc. Not going to go much deeper than that. So, what are the big swing swing here? Announced tomorrow. Okay. But she doesn't guarantee it tomorrow because it might be next week. Hedging her bets. So what Samus Hunter does. This is a very vague, oh, the direct's happening this week, I think. But it also might be next week. So I'm right either way. That's, that's the kind of stuff Samus Hunter does. But what I find more interesting than this, more interesting than just saying, oh, it's going to be this week or next week, which some people are going to get excited about that. What I think, and this is the big part, is giving exact minutes. So, when the direct happens, if it happens, if we minus the big announcement at the beginning, the big announcement in the middle, and the big announcement at the end, if we subtract the time spent on those announcements, the direct should be around 35 minutes long. If it's not, then she just made up a number. Including those announcements, if they're not close to 45, obviously she doesn't know how long those announcements will be, but if it's not close to 45 minutes long, in total, again, she's just making it up now 35 is the number that she knows exactly so again we minus those three from the direct if it's not 35 minutes she just made this up that's why i'm willing to report on this because she gave us something that's exact that we can actually measure and determine if she really knew anything just saying a direct is going to happen this week saying a direct might happen next week that's literally looking at seven of the last 10 years or seven of the last nine viable years since nintendo didn't do any directs in 2020 and saying yeah a direct's happening in february and glancing that oh nintendo usually does it in the first half of february so if not this week next week we've all been saying that we've all been predicting that for a while so her coming out and saying that that's not credit to her anybody could say that anybody could also say that well, minus these three announcements it's 35 minutes but 35 is very exact so i'm willing to talk about this and willing to at least let you guys you know hype responsibly about it because this is such an exact piece of information that we can easily debunk it if it's not true. So the direct happens this week, direct happens next week. Like even if the direct is announced tomorrow, okay, sometimes they do give us a day or two day lead up for a big direct. All I know is that as such an exact time that yes, we are going to be that person that's going to watch the direct. We're going to react. We're going to create our content around it. But I'm also going to make mental notes of just how long this direct is, minus those three big announcements. Just saying. Samus Hunter, you put your biggest swing and miss to date. You miss on this, that's a miss at E3, that's a miss at the Game Awards, and that'd be a miss at this direct. That's too many big swings and misses. And you're saying you're 70% sure it's announced tomorrow. So it better be announced tomorrow as well. I don't think that it actually helps with your, your credence or your credit, but it better be announced tomorrow if you want people to even lean into this. So again, we're covering this just because it's such an exact thing. It's hard to uh, do more. You know, she talks about, you know, we'll, 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 get, we'll get into, you know, what's going to be at the direct in the coming days, which most of the time when she does that it's just speculation like if i'm glancing at her account um you know it says uh, i want to get some new info that i mentioned a while back it's a social party game like one two switch although it'll offer different game modes talking about the generalized uh game coming out that's supposedly other so she's just building on top of other rumors and calling it a socialized with different game modes is is so general and this is what she does Think she says statements so generalized that she ends up being right in the end because the statements are too generalized not to be. That's why we're going to pay attention. 35 minutes is not a general statement. Minus three big game announcements at the beginning, middle, and end, it's 35 minutes. We can actually figure that out for ourselves and we can do the math and find out if she's just making it up. So, stay tuned. I can't believe we just covered a Samus Hunter rumor. Some of you guys out there are going to be like, oh yeah, I knew he was going to cover her again. Luke, I've been avoiding it. She said a lot of things over the last month. I'm not There's so many videos we could have made about um, about her. She, she, you know, like when the investors meeting came out, she acted like she knew more information than was at the investors meeting. Uh, she talked about knowing about you know potential release dates for Zelda and other things. We avoided all of this because it all felt like baseless speculation. And honestly, her reputation isn't the greatest at the moment. I know there are people that swear by her and will go, her reputation is better than others, except when it comes to anything that matters. 
Samus Hunter gets a lot of little things right. Little things. That, by the way, exist in a leak Discord. A Discord that, no, you don't have public access to. It's not a publicly accessible Discord. But if you can get onto this Discord, there are legitimate leakers on there posting some of this little bits of information. And I'm guessing that's where she gets a lot of the stuff she does get right from. But the big stuff she keeps missing. She swings and misses on big and big and big. She, she swung and missed on Splatoon 3 tournament at E3. She swung and missed on Zelda anniversary stuff at the Game Awards. And if she swings and misses on this, you know what they say, three big strikes in a row and you're out. So uh, for her sake, I hope this is the, the, her, her information is correct. I guess we'll find out. Anyways, folks, we should expect a direct no matter what. We don't need rumors to tell us that. Logic tells us that. Nintendo history tells us that. There's a lot of things lining up. You know, the fact that Nintendo already has a crap load of games they need to talk about. The fact we don't know release dates for anything officially past March. There's so many reasons that we need a direct. So we should expect one this week or next week, regardless of what any leakers tell us. So thank you guys so much for tuning in, and I'll catch you in the next video. Thank you.